What a what a, here we go again, back with uh, another review. Well, this isn't a review, this is an update to the uh, TechNet Gaming Mouse review I did. I've had some um, questions about how to assign the keys. Um, so I figured the best way to do it is to show you what I've got going on here, and that way you can uh, compare to what you have, and hopefully this will help clear up some things. Um, the software I got with my mouse was a TechNet M009 version 2 uh, setup.exe. Uh, this has the, uh, I didn't really go through and play with all these yet. Um, but it's, you know, like the, the DPI settings you can set between the, well, one, you can set the color of it Two, You can set, um, what the DPI is every time you click up and down, uh, you have four levels of it. Um, you can change the actual color of the like mouse wheel and the uh, buttons on the side, I believe. Um, but all right, so here we have the top of the mouse. This is your uh, left click, right click, um, the scroll wheel. Tilting the mouse is the number uh, three and five, I believe. No, no, wait. Four is tilting the mouse to the left. Uh, three is clicking the mouse down. Five is uh, tilting it to the right. And then you have the uh, up and down uh, DPI buttons on the top being six and seven. Now if you click down here on side, you go to the side and you have your five macro buttons. Uh, so to assign buttons, you go up here to assign. Now the left click, it does not let you assign because it has to be click. Because if you don't assign anything to be click, you can't use the mouse. Um, or you can't use the, the cursor to click on anything. So you would either have to set something else to click or just don't assign button number to one. How you click on it, it gives you this list. And uh, these are your the uh, options you can use to set uh, your button. Um, down here, this is the up and down of the uh, CPI cycle, or it should be DPI cycle, but... I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. But uh, you have your multimedia buttons. You have your hotkeys. Um, you have your Windows buttons. And you have single key. Click on single key, and you can choose any key you want to be uh, that button. And you click OK. Oops, I didn't want to do that. This menu. Um, with the combo key, you can choose any combination of buttons, like uh, control, con your left control and shift and alt. And the windows button and the right side and then you would select uh whichever key you wanted and then the macro key i'll show you if you go over here to macro click new this will be macro one and you hit start recording once i hit start recording start recording it will literally record what i push like the up and release up the down and the up or the press and release of each key that i hit so say i wanted to do i'm gonna do uh Shift D is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit start recording, shift D, let go, and then stop recording. As you can see, I held it down and it recorded it twice. I hit D and then I let them both go and it recorded the up. You can have it loop between these. You can even tell it to uh, record the delays. Um, to get rid of that, you just delete again or you delete and you hit new to start again. Uh, so yeah, I just did some stuff. It literally records what you do. So, um, if you were to have a certain sequence you were doing, uh, like say you're deleting a lot of things that you have to go up twice and to the right and delete, and then to the left and down, you could set it to do that to, so you can do it on one button. But anyway, for, uh, Demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave that as the macro uh, zero and hit OK. Now that that's set, I can go here to any button except for the first button and go down to macro and choose that one and then choose what it how it um, how it responds to the press of that macro button. I'm not going to do that, but that is how you use the macros. And uh, when you go to the side, it's the same thing for the. Uh, five macro buttons. You have the same options that you had with the uh, buttons on top. And um, that's pretty much it. That's uh, 
um, how I've, at least how I've assigned keys. Um, you have your config button down here to save. I had saved this under Skyrim, but you can save the different configurations you have. Um, I found that it just actually saves them as bin, uh, like one through five. I think you can do, uh, or zero through five. I think you can have six total. And, uh, if you go into the folder, uh, the install directory, you can change it to whatever name you wanted. Uh, but that's as far as I got with that. So, uh, you click save and then you're good to go. And I hope that helps. And, uh, let me know in the comments below if it didn't, or if you have any other questions, I'll do my best to help you. Uh, click like if you like these videos and subscribe if you're interested in watching any of my other videos.